good morning good morning everyone gather here today we are gather here uh, in the seventh semester there are so many modules uh, telling to submit they have given a uh, five options can anyone tell what are the options modules scientific use mic mm. section sexuality mm. then job related things then mm. uh, stress management mm. and mm. scientific writing lactation, lactation management. management okay i'll tell you scientific writing lactation management sex and sexuality and the stress related management and job readiness and the employability in healthcare setting where and all of it but here we have taken the module of sex and sexuality the why we have taken this topic the burden of the topic is 35 percentage of the sexual assault taken place in the adolescent girls indian express says that in the age of 15 one in every five women is sexually assault and one in eight men is being sexually assault in globally why here we are focusing on adolescent health why adolescents are that the adolescent are facing lot of health problems can anyone tell any adolescent health problem anemia uh, anemia Men use menstrual, mic menstrual problem anemia menstrual, mm, problem. menstrual problem then hormonal changes hormonal changes mood depression swings. mood swing obesity all these things above all what they have they have the role identity are you understanding role crisis understand peer pressure social media relationship issues sex they do not know what is love but they have a relationship it's broken again issues abnormal uh, like unwanted pregnancies for the adolescent children then sexual assaults relationship issues these are whatever they have told you depression anemia obesity sometimes malnutrition above all they are facing the peer pressure are you understanding yes, peer pressure and uh, role identity what is their role it is in the transition period they are in the adolescent or the adult they are in the stage and the menstruation so many issues hair loss uh, sometimes they with uh, boy or girl they with with wrong company they may go for the substance abuse no what is substance abuse yes ma'am what is substance abuse the mal malus of the anything addicted things which yeah is can anyone food. tell what all the substance abuse things can be used then cannabis then mm, drugs cannabis, cocaine, drugs, cocaine alcohol. alcohol these all just their testing phase they are going so here is we are going to take that subject can uh, can anyone tell what all the subjects in this sex and sexuality can be added first what how we can as a i i was a ngo uh, i was connected with the 10 ngo ases tab okay nib hatch so these people taken me always they talk about the sex and sexuality they will tell me ma'am start with anatomy and physiology are you understanding anatomy and physiology the first you have to talk that's the first point both sex the because these adolescents another four years they are going to marry they are very curious about the opposite sex yes, when i go on to talk with the blind may the blind the director of niv has told many of the blind are becoming pregnant man then when i educated them uh, ma'am they they ventilate their feeling just we are curious to know about their sexual organs so what we have done the touch and feel technique taf technique touch and feel technique what we have done we have make a chart we draw the uterus and put the beads so they can see the uterus shape where the egg is coming where it is going like that so that's all anatomy are you understanding two to four children i made them to sit and touch and feel technique so according to that you have to so now we are not going to teach for the blind so you can use the uh, what you can use slide projector everybody in the school they are having a smart classroom Take the children this is the uterus this is how it is happening the next is the hormonal changes why i have to say the hormone hormone plays an important role playing a chemistry the female hormone changes is different and the male hormonal changes are different then what hormone is playing what role you have to say are you understanding in this age hormonal change the voice modulation for the girls and the boys and then the how that increase of the chest size and the growth of 
Uh, hormonal changes what bodily changes the voice will be this one then the girls adolescent girls in the age of 12 and 15 uh, the breast size will be changing some pain will be there they are very much reluctant and psychologically she will be so much reluctant to tell their parents what they will think some people are touching or batting I have even in my adolescent period I have experienced some people when we are going uh, some people will touch tap it and we are very much afraid to tell to the parents so when the ch when the child is telling to the parents it's okay you have to tell them so I, we have to tell that is what we are adding in the last is anyone's doing a sexual assault we are adding the legislation that i will come to the point last so first is the hormonal changes and physiological changes so that point will be physiological so first is the anatomy then will be the hormonal changes how it is affecting and then the physiological uh, process of menstruation you know what is menstruation is very important right or not so the menstrual cycle how it is normal what is abnormal some people will feel a guilt but the thing is when I was counselling one girl in a fourth year of the B.Sc. nursing program, 21 year old, she was so much depression, all her three siblings uh, became um, attained menarche, but she not attained menarche. So she must do not know how to go, where to approach. So it's a question mark, her life is a question mark. There we have to educate them, where to go, whom to go and approach. Then menstrual hygiene, it's very important according to the population. If it is a hostile population, adolescent girls, how to pad you are if it is a village population are they using their clothes how they are doing it are they washing or what they are doing where they discard it if they put it in the small dustbin the rodents and the dogs and they will be taking and eating so many issues will be coming bad smell will be coming uh, mosquitoes and a spread of communicable diseases and soil erosion soil will be uh, affected and the drinking water will be polluted with the nonsense bacteria okay so this is the one and uh, adolescents always having they told you in the beginning anemia madam really 58 to 60 percentage of the adolescents girls are suffering from anemia so you have to talk about the anemia prevention that's the another point fifth point is anemia prevention then the root cause of anemia we are doing not only the diet you have to deworming are you understanding you have to tell them Every six months, you have the deworm program by the government. Government is every six months they are deworming. In a standing instruction, nurses can prescribe the deworm to the children. Even known albendazole, 400 milligram, you can prescribe to the school children. That you can do. It. That's the fifth point. Next is called contraception. Now why we have to do it? Cell. I told you, there are 10 to 15 percentage of the adolescent girls are without their knowledge you get pregnant are you understanding because of the media so you have to talk about and these adolescents are the future mother so you have to talk them fifth one is the contraceptives what is the temporary what is the permanent method of contraceptives we are because the india is the highly populous country number one country in the population not in the china now currently 1.4 billion crore 146 crores of populations are there are you understanding so that is very important take an opportunity to talk with the contraceptive because adolescents are the future mother are you understanding yes. then will be std seventh will be the std prevention sexually transmitted sex uh, uh, disease prevention is very very important uh, because hiv aids will be spread through the unsafe sex you have to talk to the adolescents so this one you have to include and we have to talk about not a least uh, that is about talk about the good touch and bad touch are you under uncle uh, the, the 70 to 75 percentage of the research is saying that the known people the relatives only they are abusing the children or anyone are you understanding Assault. Assault is a one time. Abuse. Abuse is different. Abuse is a multiple time by them. They think that the uncle, this is bad. Okay, my own relatives, my own uh, jitta, my own uncle, my own auntie's husband cannot be. That is the this one. Here is the point. The child is more much reluctant not telling to this one. Here the legislation and the protection done by the government in a very active legislative support that's called the POCS. What is POCS? So can you explain what is POCS? Uh, the full form of POCS is prevention mm. of children from sexual offenses. In mm. this the law is published by mm. uh, whoever the children get 
the sexually assaulted or, mm. or something else then the people will be getting punished or being uh, caught to the jail mm. or fine yes and no need the child has to tell maybe the child is coming and telling to the counselor the counselor should take a responsibility and counselor has to inform to the poxa if the child is telling to the friend or the friend's mother then they have to poxa so is a severe serious action will be taken yes, clear or not yes so that is the important thing we have taken this <coughs> again anyone read it what are all the 10 topics we are dealing under the sex and sexuality and please then. listen and you also can follow in the seventh semester students mandatory inc module making useful to the society useful to the school children useful with the ngos to work with the, uh, any people any uh, uh, blind people blind people really does need it yes read it anatomy of sexual organs mm. hormonal changes in growth and development mm. then physiology of menstruation <coughs> menstrual hygiene mm. prevention of anemia by diet mm. then deworming programs mm. then contraception and family planning mm. stds and its preventions mm. good touch and bad touch and mm. legislation Pokso. legislation pokso will be telling so the diet iron rich diet yes. and one thing i want to tell no need to teach the economically where you are teaching the economy you have to taught apple a day maybe keep a doctor away okay. but apple is so costly to teach to the village but uh, I as a, as, a, as a community health nurse, as a researcher, in my PhD topic to reduce the anemia, anemia only I have taken community, I thought anemia is the correct topic. I have taken a heme pack, I prepared a heme pack. My, my topic is heme pack is means ya amla soaked in honey. Are you understanding? Yes, How I do it? I take an amla, I steam it in the overnight in the cooker. How I am steaming it and I will dry it in the uh, fan fan and completely the dry just I made a one full amla then will be morning it will be dry not in the sunlight direct sunlight in the normal this one and I put it in the glass bottle pour honey wait it for two three days it will be soaked mm -hmm. honey have an anti-inflammatory and many effects are there amla has used for 100 plus diseases good for skin good for heart good for this one anti-cancerous plus many vitamin C rich once you put it a honey it is useful for anemia so that's the one and the kejur you know kejur yes, dates. or dates yes, two dates. dates again soaked in a honey okay. remove the you can remove the so, seed or not remove same glass bottle soak it too so one child every day weekly thrice one big amla with the honey and this and enhance to that after eating 10 minutes later 150 ml of lemon juice why because it will vitamin C and iron. It will enhance the absorption. Twin vitamin, like how vitamin A, uh, vitamin D, and with calcium, like that iron with vitamin C. Believe it or not, I have planned for nearly 30 intervention. I could be able to do only 90 to 20 intervention, and the children 1.5 gram has been increased. If I tell the iron, drink the iron syrup. My, there are so many side effects. Constipation will come, uh, the teeth color will be changing and it is a chemical. It is naturally available. The children taken this knowledge to their home. So when the mother, preparation also the parents knows. So there is a nurse act as a change agent. I was acting as a change agent. So with this topic, selecting the sex and sexuality in the seventh semester students to make a module, it will be, you will be act as a change agent in the society. Since India have 40 plus percentage of the people are adolescents. 45 plus percentage of the Indians are adolescents. Not a old age. Adolescent. They are the future India. We have to build the future India. So we have to use this Tranasas, 7 semester students to make a module. So your module <laughs> will be having the photos. You take a, you buy a record notebooks. And put the pictures and write what are all the key points. Then you can use it, what are all the key points and submit the module. Hope you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.